Today, I'm gonna be AFKing for 50 hours using an overpowered fishing farm that was recently just sort of discovered again in Minecraft 1.19. But before we can do that, we need two things. Obviously, the resources and build the farm. Now, I'm thinking about making this area over here like my farm area. I really like having all of my farms in one central location. So that way, when it comes to AFKing or gathering up materials, it's super easy. And so... For this, I also do need to build it in a sea that can give me treasure loot. So I also just kind of forgot, I need three things. The third one being, I need a really good fishing rod. So uh, I'm gonna go make the most overpowered fishing rod in Minecraft, and then I'm gonna go test it back there in those waters. And as long as we get some stuff that isn't just fish, you know, some treasure loot, then uh, that is an acceptable place to be building the farm. And really quickly, I just wanted to thank you guys for all the support on this series so far, as I really haven't had this much support on something since the good old craft night days. And well, that was actually super easy. That is the most OP fishing rod of the game. And I guess I'll just head on back now. But if you guys have been enjoying the series so far and you haven't subscribed, which according to this little picture right here on screen shows quite a lot of you aren't subscribed, then feel free to drop us up takes two seconds and you'll make sure you never miss an episode of this series all right now let me see if i can't get some treasure loot here once again treasure loot just being anything i get from this fishing pole that isn't a fish and we better get a bite boom it's a fish okay i might have to be here a minute oh nautilus shell that that might count i don't really know now nautilus shells are actually classified as treasure loot so i think this spot this ocean will work for the farm so on to step two of preparation actually getting everything we need to build this bad boy now the reason i'm actually really excited to be making this farm and doing this challenge is because for the last few years afk fish farms haven't actually even worked in minecraft but with the introduction of the brand new skulk blocks and specifically the skulk sensor that is what allows this farm to now work and that's why we are running to where I think I remember seeing a deep dark biome somewhere down here or I've at least passed through it so we need a skulk sensor block and once we have that we could pretty much get to work on building the farm ah yes here we are okay so no skulk I, I honestly can you even find skulk systems in just like these areas i do want to grab some of these blocks though for some in portal decoration if we've got some time i'll try to do it this episode but afking 50 hours takes a long time you know uh, like 50 hours worth and well we have d de deep darkified this area if if that's even a word but still no skulk sensor oh yeah i bro stop please if a warden spawns, I'm dead. I don't even understand how warden spawning works. Where even is it? Stop, bro. Shut up, please. I mean, I, I, I found one. It's gonna spawn the warden. I'm gonna die. Okay, so touch pickaxe is out. I have to make this drop. Boy, okay, then it didn't alert it. Oh my God. Bro, this is just a cavern. What? Oh my God. Is there only one? I mean, I, I do only need one. And I should probably mark the entrance over here so I don't get lost. I kind of want to explore a little bit because this is like the biggest deep dark vein I found. This thing is massive. Bro, it looks so creepy but cool at the same time. I, I genuinely thought a warden was going to spawn there, but it didn't. And we're still alive, so that's 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 awesome. Ooh, some more stuff over here. Any more? Honestly, if I could find another skulk sensor, I'll take it. Well, all right. Uh, we needed one. We got one. Let's go ahead back and build this farm. Yo, I... <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Get here, buddy. Oh! I was gonna say, I need some wool for this, and <laughs> it looks like a horse just stumbled into my farm. And I know as a part of these treasure loot fishing farms, you're actually able to get saddles and name tags. So when all this is said and done, I'm coming back. I'm saddling you up, buddy. You can be my first, actually my first pet. And then... I can get more name tags and then get more pets because I have zero right now at my base. That's sad. Oh my gosh. Perfect. It usually takes me ages to find slimes and swamps. I mean, I only needed one slime, but you know, like 30, 30 should be enough. It's more than one. I think we're good. All right. We've got the first bit of materials needed. And after rewatching the tutorial, I don't actually have to build this in an ocean because the way the farm is like really smartly designed, but I think... 
And we got a really cool plan for how to design this once this farm is done. So <laughs> we're still gonna build it out here. And if you guys want to build this farm for yourself, shout out to Rayworks for making this design. The link to this channel will be down below in the description if you want to do this for yourself. Yo, they did a great job of making the skulk sensor just sound as creepy as possible. But I know there's like a 0% chance of a warden even spawning, but every time I hear this, bro, I just like take a take a peek over my shoulder. I expect the warden to just be full sending it over that hill over there. And we are nearly done with the base of this farm it's super super compact as well which is really nice and refreshing after just finishing up that massive creeper farm over there it's not the size of the farm it's how efficient it is and so it's almost done but you could sort of get the idea of how this works so the skulk sister down below uh affects a sticky piston and once it senses that the allure is a bobbing it will detect the bob it's actually crazy the skulk sensor could pick up uh this fishing rod noise and it will trigger this trap door right here to close which makes me then pick up and basically sort of like collect whatever item i've just fished and then since i just hold down the right click button it will continuously do this over and over and over but as you can see it's not quite working just yet but i thought i would sort of explain how this all works so these boats are the final piece of the puzzle. We're going to get our fishing rod, and this should, if everything went to plan, I should cast it here, hold down, right click, and then whenever it comes back in. Oh, we got something. Oh my god! Our first pull is an enchanted book with fire aspect 2 and protection okay so it works it works listen this that's not even a question does it work yeah <laughs> i think it does okay sick so we'll be afking this in a little bit don't worry we need to do two more things so we need to build a collection system and a big one because we're afking for 50 hours i can only imagine i'm gonna have like 10 to 20 double chests filled with this stuff and then we also need to make it not look like crap because that's exactly what it looks like right now man every episode i find myself needing more and more iron dude uh, next episode i don't care i don't even know what i had planned next but i'm building a mega iron farm i'm tired of this okay mining's fun for the first like 100 days or i'm on day 205 i don't need to be mining anymore i should just be having everything handed to me on a silver platter all right this sort of like a general idea of what i had in mind was creating sort of like walkway i'm also gonna make a docking station so like if i ever drive a boat over here we're gonna have some boats even though I have an Elytra, so probably never gonna be driving a boat over here, but for the aesthetics. And then rather than making this a floating platform, I think I'm just gonna connect these up to the bottom of the ocean to make it sort of like, a, like pretty much like a fishing pier is what I'm, the look I'm trying to go for. And then I've still gotta expand the storage system. And then this is where I actually go to AFK. And I was honestly thinking about using bricks in this build as I, I think it could look okay, but we also have some logistical stuff. I have to move this chest or this system. Okay, that's easy. Never mind. Never mind. I, I just I just figured it out. Big brain duck of the gamer. Don't worry about it. This isn't really <laughs> what I had in mind. Like, it's looking good. I really like the brick, and I think this is what, yeah, granite and polished granite. And I moved the chest over here so that it all funnels, and you can just get all your loot, which I think is pretty smart. And if I need to, I can always extend this down with some ladders or something. But I think for the time being, we should be good. All right, it doesn't seem like much, but I kind of like how this turned out. It is a very compact, it almost reminds you of like a witch's hut for some reason. And uh, we had to hide some redstone here. And the hoppers are exposed, but I kind of like that industrial feel. But you just run right up here, cast your rod, and then hold down on the sign and it works like a charm. Just need to fix up this dock a little bit, add some support beams, and we'll finally be able to AFK this bad boy. All right, so we've got 10 double chests set up here. We're about to start our AFK session. We've got the dock with the little staircase over there, and I genuinely think we're gonna need upwards of like 20 to 30 double chests to store all these drops, which is why I'll be checking back in around the 24 hour mark, and if things are looking good, We'll keep on AFKing, uh, but if we do need to expand the storage, uh, we'll take a break 24 hours in, expand the storage, so that way we get all the insane drops. Now listen guys, I'm a busy man. I got a lot of stuff to do. I can't let Minecraft be running for 50 hours on this PC and promise that nothing's gonna happen to it. So I'm actually just gonna be taking the save of this world 
putting it on my laptop, putting that in my kitchen so that I can monitor it pretty much 24-7. And we don't have mending on, so I was about to do all that. We don't have mending on. That would have been an absolute L. I left my anvil in the end, and you guys keep telling me to get the ender dragon egg, so I'm just not gonna get it. What I am gonna do is slap down this anvil, put on this book of mending. We've got the best fishing rod here, and I even forgot one other thing. The beacon. I spent an entire episode just getting this beacon for the purpose of if I'm AFK for 50 hours, I think I might die to hunger. But if I have a beacon of regeneration, then I'm pretty sure it's actually impossible to die from hunger if you have a beacon of regeneration going. And bada bang, bada boom, the regeneration beacon has been activated. It worked. Oh my God. I had some weird issue where it just wasn't working for a good bit. So we have confirmation it worked. I'm going to transfer over this world to my laptop, do 24 hours of AFKing, and I will come back to you guys in one day's time with a status update. Breaking news! Last night, AFK, I woke up, my world corrupted, and I lost it all. Nah, I'm just kidding. The farm doesn't work. <laughs> uh, this right here is what I was able to get after 12 hours of AFK this world. So obviously something went wrong, and I'm not gonna AFK a broken farm. I'm assuming it has to do something with the beacon, and it affecting, I don't know, how the drops are considered drop something. So, uh, the good news is, after AFK for 12 hours, I woke up, and I hadn't lost a single bit of hunger, so I don't even think we need the beacon in the first place so we're gonna chop this bad boy up and uh i think that should be good everything else is exactly how it was when it was working and before we afk again we're just gonna triple check to make sure we get a few treasure drops from this and then we'll be good to go so in theory it should just work now but we're obviously gonna test to make sure that it actually does well i think i know the problem as you can see we've got we all oh, got a power three mending bow oh my god a smite for impaling fight is insane. Okay, so it works. That's awesome. I was throwing it too far to the right, causing the bobber to, to basically just bob and not work. But if I throw it to the left side, it gets stuck under the boat where it's supposed to be. And so, yeah, I waited 12 hours because I didn't know how to throw a bobber. All right, doing the same deal. AFK on laptop, catch you guys in 24 hours with an update. All right, gamers, are coming in for the 24-hour checkup. We've got the hardcore world here on the laptop. And uh, gonna go and take the bobber out. Now, you can see we're level 75. So we've been fishing a bit, been catching quite a few things. And uh, sorry, I'm using, my <laughs> I'm using my trackpad here. But um, I think, let's see. Can I open this? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Bro, is it, is it maxed? Oh my god, what about this side? Does it have any? Wait, it has nothing. The the guy said there'd be drops on the other side. My inventory's got some stuff, dude. Man, if I have to parts four, what the heck? Okay, really quickly, I'm gonna go make an adjustment that just connects this side up to this side because obviously these hoppers are kind of an L. But boys, 24 hours in, five double chests of goodies. After 50 hours of AFK in Minecraft, we have the results of this fish farm. Now, from first glimpse, we can already see we are level 95 XP, and I believe I started around like level 30 uh, in terms of experience. So we gained 65 levels of XP, which isn't great. If I were to AFK like an actual XP farm, I'd probably be like a level 1000 by now. But if we check out our inventory, because I did clear out a few slots, uh, we have just tons of stacks of tropical fish, puffer fish. I think you use puffer fish for like some brewing recipes, if I'm not mistaken. So that's pretty clutch. And then we have 53 Nautilus shells. Uh, we already have some rods here. We have a band of the pods for some saddles. So I actually really needed some saddles as well. Uh, so hyped about that way. Can I eat a puffer fish? I think it gives you poison. Yep. Oh, shoot. Imagine this is how I die. This, <laughs> this is how I lose the world. Just because I eat a puffer fish on accident. Well, it, it wasn't. Oh my god. Yo, this actually isn't good, bro. It's gonna pop my totem. I gotta I gotta get rid of this. Holy crap. Okay, Tony Puffer Fish. Got it, got it, got it. Oh my god. Now I'm getting attacked by <laughs> I I I AFK for like a hundred days without a problem. And then bro, uh, <laughs> I almost died. Two seconds back. I was about to go get some milk. And then it looks like it just kind of saved itself right there. So note to self and note to yourself. Don't eat pufferfish for the memes because it's not funny. All right, I need to go get another totem. Where's my other totem? 
I hope I have one in here. Was that my only totem? No way. I I think it was. Well, I I guess you live and you learn. Not sure. We'll figure out how to get some more totems later. But anyways, let's see the actual results of the farm. So I AFK'd this farm for 12 hours, realized it just didn't work at all. So I re-AFK'd it for a total of like 60 hours. Um, and at the 24 hour check-in, you guys saw we had all of these goodies which we're going to go through. But I really want to see if we were able to fill up all these double chests. So, okay, the bottom ones, two, three, four... Five? Are these are all the hoppers maxed out? Oh my gosh, bro. So we basically maxed out 10 double chests of treasure loot, which is insane. So we have an absurd amount of fishing rods and bows. Like, who needs that? A lot of saddles, which is amazing. I'll take some saddles. Um, oh my gosh, infinity quick charge. That's four enchants on one. That's insane. Knockback efficiency four sharpness, bro. All these are like insane books we have a ton of name tags as well which is really awesome uh but okay all right we'll probably leave all of the cr not crappy stuff in there but i really just want to get uh as many books as possible because the fish we can always if we ever need fish for whatever reason we can come back and grab these but that's like oh that's like a shulker box full of enchanted goodies oh my God, look at that it's like the longer I AFK, the more, the, the better the stuff I got. We literally have like three shulker boxes full of books and like half an inventory worth of books. So I'm gonna go drop these off, come back, fill up again, and then also show you an absolutely insane statistic from this entire challenge. So all said and done, we managed to get two double chests just of enchanted books and then just an absurd amount of fish. But I really quickly am gonna grab a name tag and a saddle for the horse we're gonna be claiming as our pets. But quickly before we do that, I wanted to show you the statistic of how many fish we caught. Now it actually shows you how many fish you've caught in your world. And before we get there, I and before we get to the number, I want you to guess down below in the comments what you think my total number was. But three, two, one, boom, 6,386 fish i believe a standard chest holds like 1500 items or so so that is like two double chests of max stacks of 64 fish i don't think this counts like uh the legendary things we fish so all of those other items i really don't think it counts near just fish caught caught a bunch of fish but there's just so many other items so many name tags even bottles of water what is that oh ink sacks that's actually really sick i'm gonna grab those real quick and then the fella who stumbled in to my sheep and over here we're gonna go ahead and name him fishy because we spent 50 hours afk and we, we have to commemorate this achievement by naming our horse fishy there we go got our saddle fishy come on get out of here buddy i don't know what you're doing in there honestly we can just let him chill in here it's nice and you know it's got a nice breeze some air don't do it fishy God dang it, man. I have a pet for two seconds and he goes wandering off. Okay, maybe we don't put him in there. Bro, now he's just stuck in the nether. I don't know what's going on. Buddy, you're not going down there. All right, well, looks like my boy Fishy will be chilling here for a little while, but that's okay. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you did, make sure you drop a like. And please, if you guys haven't already, subscribe to the channel so you never miss an episode of this hardcore series. I have an absolutely insane one planned for the next episode. So boys, subscribe, don't miss it, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.